how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Last night, I'm relaxing, all right, getting ready for sleep, slumber, and I'm looking for something to watch, all right? And I'm just browsing through YouTube, and of course my YouTube feed is now full of Street Fighter 6 videos because I've been watching Street Fighter Tech videos pretty much every time I play the game to try to learn strategies and things with the characters I'm using. It's worked really well, by the way, like you haven't noticed. Every time I take a character into ranked, I seem to know one or two new things that is really useful. So anyway, um, I'm, you know, I'm on YouTube and I'm browsing through, and something pops into my feed. Are you ready for this, guys? The big build-up? I know I've been building it up. The name of the video, and I, don't quote me on this, it's not word for word. But the name of the video is something like this, you ready? LTG can't handle the jab, jab, jab. Now, immediately I read the title of this video, and I know it's a Street Fighter 6 video, and I think in my head, oh no. So basically, he probably is complaining about Street Fighter 6, the same thing I've been complaining about, that there's too many characters who can just mash jab, and it interrupts everything you do, and I'm thinking, this is probably going to be like a salty compilation video. Right? Like, it's gonna be like a, a, a 10 minute video where they just take him freaking out about, uh, Street Fighter 6 people mashing, jabbing, interrupting everything he does. That's what I thought it was gonna be. Alright? So I click on the video, and much to my surprise, that's not what it is at all. What this is is an hour long edit where basically they took matches that he was playing. And it's weird because I think he, the matches they picked were the ones he lost, but at the same time, it's not like there were matches where he was getting, like, blown out constantly and freaking out. I don't know. I just think what it is is that people like to act like things are way more drama than they are. I didn't find the video to be too overdramatic at all. Like, I mean, he got angry a few times during the matches, for sure. So do I, you know? I, I mean, I think sometimes I actually get way more worked up than he did in this video, right? But I don't know. Like, it was fascinating because I've, I've literally never watched LTG gameplay before. Just being honest, it's the first time I've ever watched this guy play anything. I don't watch his content. I don't, you know, I don't know anything about how he streams or whatever. Orcs and Dorks, thank you for the 500 bits here, but there's no way I'm reading a message about whether LTG has a BBC or not. That's a pretty fucking stupid message. And I, I actually watched almost the entire video. Like, basically, I became absolutely fascinated with this content, okay? Allow me to explain why. There was a, multiple reasons why I was fascinated by this content, okay? Like, so many things were going on, all right? So, number one, his layout. Okay? Here's my layout when I stream. Okay? Here's my layout. As you can see, you know, okay, keep in mind this camera should be fitting into this frame right here. But you see my layout? I would consider that my layout is a minimalist layout. Alright? And what I mean by that is, as you can see, I give the game 95% of the real estate on my screen. For me, when I'm playing the game, it's about the game. Right? LTG layout essentially is he's over here in the upper left hand corner and he's got a big widescreen camera below him is his stream chat and i think he's streaming on twitch currently so below him is the twitch so this whole third of the screen over here is him and his chat okay then over here like this segment of the screen is the game but it's small it's like crushed like small and then he's got like like stuff on the bottom of the screen running that says what music he's currently playing. He's one of those streamers that he doesn't use the game's natural soundtrack. He has one of those things where he just plays his own custom soundtrack, and it's all video game music, which, by the way, I actually liked a lot of the music. He's playing, like, old Street Fighter tunes and stuff. I was like, this is good music, actually. Some, but not all of it. Like, he was playing, like, Mega Man X8, and I was like, ugh, I can't stand the later Mega Man X shit. But he was doing some good stuff, like, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, old Mega Man games. I was like, oh, these are pretty good tunes. LTG is a sexy man. $30, he'll turn on his webcam. <laughs> like, this is good stuff. But to me, if I'm playing a game, I want the natural soundtrack from the game to come through. I never understood streamers who play other music in the, over the game. I don't know. I guess it was always a common thing or a popular thing to do. I never did that. I always just played the, the game soundtrack, right? So he's doing that, and he says the track. But the other thing, like, there's stream stats going on, and the stream stats were baffling, okay? Allow me to explain what I mean by that. According to his stream stats, 
When LTG streams Street Fighter 6, he's got 2,000 viewers. Oh my god! What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Stay in his asshole. Don't lose him. Really? LTG has 2,000 live viewers on Twitch when he streams Street Fighter 6? That's great! I was bet My jaw dropped. I was like, holy shit. He has 2,000 viewers when he plays Street Fighter 6. He's got to be one of the top Street Fighter 6 guys, if that's the case. I don't, I'm not aware that the FGC gets that kind of views on just random... I know if it's a tournament stream or whatever, but this is him just randomly playing, right? I mean, he's doing something right. If that's, if that's his honest viewership he gets every time he plays Street Fighter 6, he's doing really good for himself, and that's good for him. Like, I was actually blown away. I, was, I had no clue this guy got that kind of attention, right? So that was interesting. Um, but the thing that got me at the same time was, like, for example, he has his chat on the screen. I didn't see a single piece of intelligent thought out of his chat. Insult the viewer. Like, it just seemed like it was the, the normal, what do they call it, the normal Twitch stream monsters for fighting games. They're just spamming dumb memes and shit. They're insulting him when he's playing. They're just being toxic. And I was looking at this and I'm like, I don't actually see a single reason to have that on the screen. Like, it's not adding to the stream. If, in my opinion, it actually took away. I would rather see more of the game. Than the, than the chat. The chat was, like, was too distracting and was very stupid. Like, I didn't get why the chat was on the screen. It, didn't, it wasn't entertaining. It didn't add anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, the audience that was there, yeah, a lot of them were toxic towards him. And I was like, I don't think this makes sense to have that on the screen then. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't understand that. The other thing that got me, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be shockingly on, uh, honest here. So I watched this. It was an hour. Now, I guess this hour comprised two different sessions, a Friday night session and a Saturday session that he played. And both times he's playing it from 2 to 4 in the morning. He has the time, uh, his local time on the screen when he plays. And I'm like, geez. Play I could never imagine playing Street Fighter at 2 to 4 in the morning. That would not be the time that I want to play it. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be playing it at prime time. And he's playing at like 2 to 4 in the morning. Like, holy shit, right? Um, I don't know how he's doing that and not falling asleep, honestly. So, so he's playing at these times and... The thing that I noticed, so it's, you know, I watched an hour. It was an hour video. But each, you know, the segment, I guess if it was unedited, it would have been like four or five hours of gameplay. But I'm noticing <clears throat> with 2,000 viewers, okay, and I'm, this is me being honest. This is not me shit talking. He wasn't getting many contributions at all. Like, he had on his screen, he has all this, these stats and shit all over his screen. At the top of his screen, it's like, this person resubbed for this many months, and this person, or whenever someone would contribute, there'd be like a pop-up on a screen that says Covenant or something. Or sometimes if someone did like a $3 tip, it would do the AI talk where it would say something that they wanted it to say or whatever, right? So... At least, at least I'm not as bad as Rings of Redemption, or I'm not as bad as LTG, right? He's basically, you know, he's talking and, and doing his gameplay, and he's got 2,000 viewers on the stream, and the only thing I'm seeing is toxic shit in his chat, and really very few people supporting him. And I was like, wow, that kind of sucks. Imagine if you were getting tons of viewers, but maybe what it is is that the vast majority of viewers this guy gets are all people who don't like him, and they're just being real toxic to him. I actually started to feel a little bad. I was like, that sucks ass, if that's the case. Again, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever watched this guy's content. So imagine you're bringing in thousands of viewers, tons of viewership, but the people are there just to basically take a dump on you rather than actually support what you're doing. Like, I was like, that sucks, right? I, for me, listen, I know I got trolls, but I also know that I got a good number of people. You know, every stream I do, we got hundreds of people who are here to be positive, to be happy, to be, have a good time with me. It's not every single time I play a game, people are here to dump. Listen, you guys razz me. I get it. When I play Street Fighter, especially, you guys fucking razz me. All right? I get that. But I was just shaking my head. I don't get it. I see a toxic chat. Oh, by the way, this is another thing, too. His chat wasn't really moving that much. And I'm wondering if he has a lot of moderation on his chat because his chat wasn't moving as much. If there's 2,000 people on the stream, why wasn't many people chatting? And I'm wondering, maybe maybe because he gets so much trolling, he has to have a lot of moderation on his stream like mine, too. That I get, all right? So you see, I'm trying to be reasonable here. This is the first time I've ever watched him, any of his content. And I, basically, I was, again, it's fascinating. But I actually, I look up to LTG and I idolize him as a paragon of what the male should embody what a true male should embody you may not realize this i'm the person who gives him about 30 dollars every day so he'll turn on his webcam so i can see that massive adonis like form because you're sitting there and you're, you're watching it and you're just trying to understand it because you know i'm a streamer just like him and i'm i didn't get it like his chat didn't seem to work like my chat his views were way more than mine but at the same time it seemed like he was getting way less support than me and i was it was so confusing I was just like, it was really weird. It was like a case study almost of trying to see how this worked, right? So anyway, that's 
A lot of people in chat are saying he view bots. I have no idea. I'm not going to accuse the guy of anything. I'm just giving you my factual observations from watching this hour. Okay? That's my factual observation from what I saw. All right? Oh my god, he's drinking wheelchair donations. Let's talk about the actual content. All right? First of all, immediately when I started watching, I wanted to commentate on the match. I was dying to commentate. I was like, dude, I would love to watch this live with my audience and commentate on the gameplay. Because I'll tell you, some of the things he says, I agree with when it comes to the gameplay of the game. He's mad because certain characters are getting away with just jabbing like crazy and interrupting his stuff. I agree. I think that the game has a big problem with that, that there's certain easy mode characters who can just fucking walk up jab or react to jab, wake up jab, and they beat everything. And that's actually what the name of the video I think was trying to poke fun at, but it's a valid criticism of Street Fighter Six in my opinion. So I was kind of agreeing with him on a lot of that, all right? And uh, basically, you know, I was I was enjoying it because it's I was actually watching it neutrally. I wasn't against LTG, but also I wasn't like pro LTG. You know what I'm saying? Like I was just trying to watch it objectively. And I was starting to analyze his gameplay, and I was starting to see some flaws in his gameplay that I think that he could dramatically improve his gameplay if he made some changes. He was like, he's fighting a platinum player, all right? He's in diamond, he's fighting a platinum. And he's fighting, he's like, oh my god, why am I facing a platinum level player when I'm in diamond? This is unacceptable, I don't know why they're matching me with this player. And then he beats the player, right? That's a free win, that's free points for him to rank up. And he goes, oh, I don't want to play platinum anymore. And he goes and he blacklists the player, blocks him so he'll never play him ever again. I was like... Isn't that counterproductive? You banned the person who you could easily beat and you get points to rank up even further. Why did you ban them? Like, why would you block them? I actually feel like if he didn't block the people, he'd be getting better connections. And if he wisely, like for example, if you're spanking a platinum player, don't block that person. Keep them there. Play them again, get more free points, rank up higher, right? Like, why would you block that person? It just, it didn't make sense. Zero effort, very nice. Why would I, why would I care? Why, number one, why would I try to get better? Why would I? invest any any effort you know i think he just he gets real heated right like and you see when i get heated how i get i get bad i get mad i start swearing i punch my fucking joystick i start going crazy on my streams you guys have seen it in the last two months how when i get heated how heated i get it's weird because he gets mad but then instead of like going crazy he just immediately just like blocks go to the dashboard block the player like that's his pattern to deal with when he gets heated and i'm like i don't know i feel like he's hurting himself like maybe if he hadn't done this for the game, he would be a master rank right now, you know? And the other thing is, like, for example, I actually feel like, like, doing a commentary on a video of his would be cool because I see things in his game that I know he can improve. That I'm looking, I'm like, dude, if he just did this, he'd be doing so much better. He'd be winning this match. And I'm watching, I'm like, dude, I, I, maybe I, maybe I should do commentary, not just on him, but maybe I could do commentary on my Street Fighter videos. Because I'm learning the game, and as I'm learning, I'm seeing the holes in other people's game. And I'm like, dude, they could, he could improve dramatically with just a few quick things that I saw. Like, his game could get so much better. So, you know, I, you know, and I'm not saying that LTG is looking for help from me. I'm just saying, in general, anyone. I think if I watch these videos, maybe I could, I could comment on them. And I could watch top player videos. I could watch mid to low play level. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that I legitimately know Street Fighter VI good enough that I would enjoy doing commentary over videos of the game. That could maybe be content that I did. But that's up to you guys. I don't want to put out content you guys don't want. This is just an idea I had because I was watching LTG's video and I'm like, dude, he could do this. Oh, look at that setup. Oh, man, now that's bullshit that that happened to him. And this and that. And I'm, I'm com I realized I'm doing it in my own head. I'm doing commentary in my own head. This could be a video I'm making right now. This could be a stream I'm making right now. You see? <clears throat> so it kind of was an interesting idea, right? Um, All right, I'm going to eat that snake. I'll, 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 I'll start your day with a mouthful of cock. There's still this back here, and it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone, just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>